Grodno Belarus was a place of incredible Jewish history. From the 14th century, Jews settled here. Under an independent Poland in the 20th century, yeshivas were created here, massive places, like Shah HaTorah, famous one on yeshiva. And the Jewish community really flourished here, with people and leaders like Zamenhof, the creator of the Esperanto language. Livni, the father of Tsipi Livni, the well-known Israeli political leader, and even people like Meir Lansky, the well-known Jewish mobster who went to the United States after. Whenever people ask Meir Lansky who he was, he always said, I'm a Polish Jew from Grodno. And this history, this illustrious history of these 25, 29, 30,000 Jews who lived here, all ended during the Second World War. The Jews were rounded up just here, in this exact area, where the last remnants of the ghetto stand. This area behind me is a symbolic memorial for the ghetto that was created here. Two ghettos were created by the German Nazis in this area. On November 1st, 1942, when the German Nazis invaded, 1941, when the German Nazis invaded, they came to this place and they took all the Jews and they separated them into two separate ghettos. The big ghetto, this area, with the synagogue not far behind us, was the first place that was created. This place pushed 15,000 Jews into a small and compact area. The second ghetto, which wasn't far away, had 10,000 Jews. The reason why the Germans did this, as they said, was to be able to transport the Jews easier, ultimately to their deaths. And November 2nd, one day after the creation of the ghetto, transportation started, moving the Jews towards different concentration camps, ending and in its height, in February 1943, where from here and from the other ghetto, 10,000 Jews were sent in one day to Auschwitz-Birkenau and 5,000 were sent to Treblinka. From this big city, from this illustrious history, roughly 2,000 Jews survived, the majority of which ended up moving and leaving this area. This area then became Belarus and today you have a small community of a few hundred people that live here and stay here and are part of this life. We've come here to Belarus to visit the last living righteous but also the Holocaust survivors. These people who survived in many different ways. Yesterday we visited a remarkable man whose family were from Romania, Moldova, moved to Kazakhstan, from Kazakhstan to Ukraine and from Ukraine with the rise of anti-Semitism in the Orange Revolution of 2000s ended up coming here. And this really is a part of this history. Belarus today is a country that many people would have heard of from the news and from the media, but this isn't why we're here. We're here to look at this history and to learn this past and to commemorate those who lost their lives, whose stories can only be told through people like us. And especially now during COVID, the need and the importance of coming and visiting the last righteous and survivors have got even more serious. From this small Jewish community here, 42 people have passed away during COVID, some from COVID and others from natural causes. And it's our opportunity and our importance in the history to make sure that we remember these people and we remember this past. Over the next week, we'll be traveling around the country even more, visiting different righteous amongst the nations and Holocaust survivors and Jewish communities and telling their stories. And from here in Grodno, from a town where 50% of its inhabitants pre-war were Jewish, just a few remain. So from me here in Grodno, I wish you all a good day.